Hey, what's up guys? I'm Aaron Kurtz here and I want to propose to you an easier way to work on this whole OCD anxiety thing. Now you're probably wondering, easy? How could this be easy? What's easy about this? It's only been hard for me. And that's what I want to share with you. Alternative method, alternative method here, way of understanding this process. Um, and it has to do with how we go about this, okay? Now, I want to introduce this method, uh, which I kind of come up with, and it's called, it's called the box, okay? I'll show you right here. This box right here, the inside box, is your current perception of the world, your reality, okay? This is your reality, and within it are your fears, your perceived limitations, your beliefs about yourself. All these things that make up how we perceive the world, how we understand ourselves, what we believe about ourselves, our self-image, okay? Our minds use this concept, our mind uses our self-image to not just to understand the world, but to engage the world, to pull from the world. If you have two people going to a, uh, meet the same person, they're going to pull different things out of that experience than the other person has to do with this. It's all about how you understand yourself. Because the universe is really, I'll say it this way, you are really at the center of the universe. Your whole reality is all about you because everything you can perceive and take in has to do with you. It's all about you. Okay, so uh, it's been said, like, I think I read somewhere like that like, in any kind of experience in your environment, there's billions of data points and things that you can perceive. Well, you could perceive, but you can only perceive so much, you can only take in and observe and become aware of so much. And so how, how's that selection process happening? Well, it's based on this. Because within this box, your self-image is also your, like I said, your fears and your beliefs, your ability to survive. And a lot of times what we can understand from our environment um, and what we are, we, we are kind of allowed to do is based on what our mind believes is safe for us. What's safe for us? and what's a threat to us, okay? Once again, it's all within this box. Now, within that box, you can be doing breathing exercises, um, even like CBT, ERP if done alone, isolated, this kind of stuff. It's all just beautifying the box. Now, ERP can be done, ERP is, is sort of the concept of how we change, but if done alone, with disregard to anything else, it can just be beautifying the box, okay? Um, a lot of supplements, medications, they kind of are just working within this box. Now, those things can work, and, I, they, and if you're doing them, that's great, and they work for you, that's awesome, because a lot of those things I mentioned can work, but they can also work because they allow you to see yourself differently, to believe, to step into the unknown somewhat. And sometimes that's where the power is in some of those things I just mentioned. But, like I said, it will be limited. Those things you do traditionally to combat um, anxiety, OCD, can be limited. And very limited for some people, like myself. And so, what do we do? Well, on the outside I have these dots representing a bigger box. We can expand our image of ourself, what we believe about ourself. We can expand it through visualizing, by, by understanding what we want, who we want to be in life, what we want to do, what we want to have, an idealized version of our life. What do we want? We can visualize that. We can feel as if we have it already. And at that level, we are, our internal chemistry, our mind, is being changed and influenced, and it doesn't know the difference between 
reality to, between what's real uh, and what is being imagined. And so you are expanding your, your uh, potential way out here and having it in dots because the dots is sort of when you haven't, hasn't quite um, been wired in yet, but you're expanding, you're starting to think in those bigger ranges, um, feel in those bigger ranges, and that's what's going to propel you to take action in alignment with that bigger self you're imagining, that more uh, fulfilling, encouraging, positive, limitless self-image you are creating by yourself, okay? In this bigger box, which is outside of your current box, maybe a better relationship, maybe more, maybe making more money per month. There might be um, more happiness, uh, more passion for what you're doing with life, more excitement in life. Um, you name it, better fitness, whatever outside that box, okay, could represent. But when you imagine, you visualize as if you are that version. It drives you. Your mind is going to start working for you to start taking action. And key, in my opinion, is taking very small steps that are doable initially that become in alignment with that version of you and get the ball rolling. Um, but what happens a lot of times is with, within this box is a lot of struggle. A lot of struggle because we think that this is our solution. That medication is our solution. That supplement, that treatment method, that technique, that tip, that breathing exercise, that infrared, that whatever. That is our answer. That is what we need. That will help me. We bounce around to different things that may help for a while. Or we struggle really hard and we try to use our willpower. Um, we're trying to fix ourselves here within this environment, within this, not realizing that not realizing that we're still just playing small. We're playing small because we see ourselves as being small. And the answer is to let go. Let go of the struggle to fix yourself. Why are you doing any of this? All the symptoms, the fears. Just stop trying to fix it. There's not, you're, you're, you are okay. At your core, you are. There's, there's nothing wrong with you. And you can let go of trying to fix yourself. Because those things really don't punch the needle forward as much as visualizing a new you. And essentially that's what it comes down to is that the old you is one in which OCD grows and thrives. And it's by changing who, how you view yourself, how you see yourself is where OCD just gets replaced. Um, and it's a little easier Although within this, there are fears to break. Make no doubt about it. Uh, and I'm doing this in my life on many levels. There are, when you start visualizing and you start, your mind starts showing you what you need to do now. And there's a motivation to do it. And you have to step into this gap right here. These gaps of action. As you start aligning yourself with how you are feeling how you are uh, thinking about yourself now, and um, you take those actions, and that propels you out, bursts you out of the box in this new reality, this new perception, this new belief about yourself. Um, if this video has been helpful, please like it, please subscribe to the channel, um, share it with anybody that may be helped on this. We're doing this work in the OCD Hero community. Link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys.